This is Lord Aviation. For over five years, the revolutionary force in analog horror and Roblox Entertainment. There is limited time. Tartarus plans to reclaim Earth as his kingdom. Millions have fallen to Tartarus over the course of millennia. We too could meet this fate. Throughout the history of humanity, in the face of countless trials and tribulations, no event will prepare us for this challenge we face as a species. As the Blood Moon returned, he plans to resurrect the banished scourges that once plagued this earth, and now sit in hell. The banished ancient disasters, they too will rise. Solar flares. Hypercanes. The Weeping Angel. Pure Insanity. The Dark Beast. For the first time ever, is coming to Earth. As I write my final words in this journal, I can only hope for one thing. I plead with Mother Nature to give a merciful end to humanity. I am sorry that my actions created an anomaly of an early return of the Blood Moon. And I am sorry to my family, the ones I could not save on that day. If you find this journal and read these words, know one thing. The future is bleak. Interrupted regular programming to bring you some. Rotation is experiencing a fatal alert.
Okay, so I just woke up now. Maybe around 30 minutes ago. The rain has not been stopped yet. And um, there is some uh, blood moon eclipse happening around my area. Once the sky goes dark randomly, I have to check out what is going on outside. I'll keep recording. What's that bell sound come from? This is a safety alert for the Orange County. At around 6.30 p.m., six unrelated abductions took place in Orlando, Florida. The abductor is a creature known as the Death Hands. And the victims are Frank Adams, age 24, Sherry Sparr, age 35, James Reynolds, age 53, Cecile Boone, age 41, Faye Hollis, age 21, and Daniel O'Neill, age 19. It is unclear why these abductions took place. If you happen to come across any of these individuals, please contact the authorities immediately or call 911. Your cooperation is crucial in ensuring the safety of our citizens. Thank you for your time. Good evening. We begin with a developing story from North America, where authorities are investigating a series of cases of missing persons linked to an unusual and alarming cause. The reports from both the United States and Canada indicate that a mysterious entity, referred to by some as the Dead Hands, may be involved in these disappearances. Eyewitnesses describe the creature as having hand-like appendages and a ghostly appearance. The authorities are urging residents to stay indoors after dark and to be vigilant. They are coordinating across borders to investigate these troubling incidents and ensure public safety. If you have any information or if you encounter anything unusual, please contact local law enforcement immediately. For now, stay tuned to BBC News for updates on this evolving situation. We will continue to monitor this story closely and bring you the latest developments as they become available. Thank you for listening. I'm Oscar Newman, BBC One. Please, this is the Alberta Emergency Public Warning System. The following emergency bulletin may affect your area. Listen carefully. This 
is missing persons activation of the public warning system. This emergency has been declared due to a series of missing persons reports across Alberta. The Office of Emergency Services has received reports of missing persons in various cities, including Calgary, Ottawa, Edmonton, Victoria, Winnipeg, Fredericton, St. John's, Halifax, Toronto, Whitehorse, Quebec City, and Charlottetown. The Office of Emergency Services advises that you stay indoors, keep all entrances closed and blocked, and keep track of family and friends, especially children under the age of 17. Do not attempt to go outdoors unless absolutely necessary, and if you must, bring a capable and trusted companion with you. Please gather as much information and leads as you can safely and kindly dial 911 immediately. This situation will continue to be investigated to the best of our ability, and please stay tuned for more updates and further information. Il s'agit de l'activation du système d'alerte publique pour les personnes disparues. Cette urgence a été déclarée en raison d'une série de rapports de personnes celestial phenomenon known as the Blood Moon Curse or Tau 2003 has been recently identified by NASA astronomers. This astral body measuring 56,000 miles in diameter is projected to approach Earth on July 5th, 2003. The upcoming phenomenon is expected to result in the complete darkening of the night sky accompanied by a distinctive blood red tint and the occurrence of heavy blood rain. This unusual event is projected to trigger ancient style calamities, including global heat waves. NASA is actively implementing precautionary measures to mitigate this eventuality and is committed to issuing an emergency update several months in advance of the event. Normal programming on Channel 10 has been temporarily suspended due to unforeseen circumstances. Normal programming on Channel 10 has been temporarily suspended. Attention, an extremely serious emergency is currently unfolding, posing a significant threat to life and property you must take immediate action to ensure your safety. There has been a sudden increase in the number of disappearances, which has now become a widespread phenomenon affecting several major countries across different continents, including Asia, Europe, North America, and Oceania. Specific countries experiencing these disappearances include, but are not limited to, Australia, Canada, Mexico, Germany, Japan, New Zealand, North Korea, South Korea, the United Kingdom, and the United States. Furthermore, NASA has identified a threat known as the Blood Moon Curse, or Tau 2003. This upcoming phenomenon is anticipated to cause a complete darkening of the night sky, characterized by a distinctive blood-red tint and the occurrence of heavy blood rain. 
It is projected to lead to catastrophic events resembling those from ancient times, including global heat waves. Consequently, martial law will be instituted. All residents in Australia are urged to remain indoors and refrain from going outside until 7 a.m., even if family members go missing. Violation of this martial law will result in intervention by the Federation Guard, who will escort individuals back to their homes and closely monitor their activities. Continued disobedience will lead to arrest. These restrictions will be relaxed if the rate of disappearances decreases. Please comply with martial law, stay indoors, and stay updated through official government sources, such as the National Emergency Warning Systems and media outlets for further information about this situation. Normal programming will resume shortly. Thank you.
that is capable of causing widespread devastation shortly. The western United States will become a sea. Evacuation from an impacted location is not recommended and will put your life in further jeopardy. Underground shelters will not protect you as there is a major risk of water breaching and you will not able to be escape alive. You will face certain death if you do not heed this warning. Please gather your loved ones and head to higher ground now. Floodwaters will be exceptionally high. This is not the only danger that will be present in the United States. Again, this is a life-threatening situation event. Act now to avoid serious injury or death. Please take all necessary precautions and stay informed when they become available. Good luck and goodbye.
special emergency. For the city of Edmonton and all surrounding areas, an extremely dangerous and life-threatening hypercane is en route to make landfall in Edmonton in the next one to four hours. This is a hazardous and life-threatening event and you should prepare to seek shelter and gather necessary supplies to ensure the survival of yourself and your family. This hypercane produces strong wind gusts and torrential rainfall will result in flooding in most areas affected. Move to the underground shelter or the most interior part of your residence. Your supplies should consist of the amount of non-perishable food and water to last you at least one week. Surrounding areas of Edmonton should take the same precautions. If you are receiving this message, you are in the warned area and you need to take shelter immediately. There's no time to delay. Should power services go out, make sure to have a radio with you and tune into the station really and news for your area. Do not attempt to travel at this time. This station will furnish news and information for the Edmonton area unless communications are disrupted. This message will repeat indefinitely in French. Please stand by. Le type d'événement est une urgence naturelle pour la ville d'Edmonton et toutes les régions environnantes. Un hypercan extrêmement dangereux et potentiellement mortel est en route pour toucher terre à Edmonton dans les 1 à 4 prochaines heures. anyone else feels this way, but with all these supernatural disasters happening lately, I've been feeling really worried about the future. It's like the end of the world is just around the corner, you know? The Tartarus incidents, and all the chaos and destruction they've caused. It's just too much to take in. Sometimes I wonder how I've managed to survive through all of this disaster hell. It's like the world is falling apart, and I can't shake off this feeling of impending doom. I just hope things get better soon. is currently under an emergency broadcast suspension. This means that the regular weather forecast cycle, which usually includes updates on hazardous weather and weekly forecasts, has been suspended indefinitely. Only messages related to the current state of emergency and statements from the United States government and the Federal Emergency Management Agency will be broadcast. 
A national emergency action notification is currently in effect for the entire United States, including Alaska, Hawaii, and U.S. territories. This will remain in effect until a national emergency action termination broadcast is issued. For those just tuning in, this alert will be retransmitted shortly. Please stand by. A dangerous meteorological situation is occurring across the United States. Shelter in place immediately. This message is transmitted at the request of the National Aeronautics and Space Center. I've never felt so helpless in my life. I can't believe there is no way to stop this thing. Not one. Is there any possible way to stop its Armageddon? We can't go on, gentlemen. Let's face it. There is no way to defeat a supernatural force alone. We have no choice but to surrender. Surrender? We've thrown everything we have at it. Who the hell are you? I know how to stop Tartarus. Please leave, kid. We're not here to play games. Neither am I. Do you want my help or not? How can we trust you? How did you know how to stop Tartarus? I am a member of William's family. He has sent me a document detailing how to stop Tartarus, to disrupt the energy source powering the final phase of Tartarus. We need to disarm the four pillars that will form in each corner. This will prevent the blood moon from reaching the Earth's surface. Each pillar wields a different element, blue for water, green for earth, red for fire, and purple for lightning. We only have one opportunity to do this, so we need to act quickly. Hmm, I think this would be a good idea. All right, everyone, listen up. This is our last shot. Get ready to execute the last attempt. We don't have much time, so let's make it count. Let's end this.
The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States Civil Defense. Police and armed forces across the United States have surrendered to Tartars as armed defense has failed. Civil defense has also proved ineffective. All citizens are on their own as there is no way for law enforcement to protect you. You must take yourself, your family, your pets, and all essential items to an underground shelter or isolated room of your home that is the hardest to find. Do not attempt to use weapons as it will not be effective. All you can do is hide, and pray. Despite continued resistance across the states, Tartarus continues its deadly assault and shows no signs of stopping anytime soon. It is critical to remain hidden, and do not try to be a hero. Hide and secure yourself as tightly as you can. Remain dead silent. If dead hands approach you, play dead. These instructions are crucial to the possibility of survival. Stay tuned to news outlets for further information. We now conclude this message. We've pinpointed the source. Tartarus is right there. Deploy the units. Sir, the energy readings are off the charts. We're risking everything by engaging. We don't have a choice. If Tartarus succeeds, the Blood Moon will be the least of our worries. All units, prepare for immediate deployment. We're here. Here we go, gentlemen. Our final stand. We will fight till the very end for our people, for our country, for our souls. Everyone stand your ground, look alive. We hear them. Disrupt that core. General, we've lost most of the squad. It's just us now. We push on, we're not done yet. Never. Go to hell. For everyone we've lost. For Earth. Now. We did it. We won. We did, but at a great cost. We'll remember the sacrifice of every soldier who fought here today. Those brave men were the true heroes. update from the government regarding the recent supernatural threat. We are pleased to announce that the threat from Tartarus has been successfully neutralized. The situation has been brought under control, and it is now safe for everyone to come out. However, we want to acknowledge that there has been significant damage and debris due to the attacks. Our teams are already on the ground working to assess and address the destruction. For those in need of assistance, 
survival shelter locations have been established throughout the affected areas. Please seek out these shelters if you require help or are in need of temporary housing. We want to extend our deepest thanks to all those who cooperated and supported the efforts during this crisis. Your courage and resilience have been truly inspiring. Today marks a momentous occasion in our nation's history. Thanks to your unwavering courage, resilience, and dedication, we have overcome an unprecedented threat. Tartarus, a peril that loomed over our world, has been stopped, and our planet is safe once more. This victory is not just the result of strategic measures and advanced technology, but a testament to the collective strength and cooperation of every citizen. Your steadfast support tireless efforts and willingness to come together as one have made this triumph possible. Whether you are on the front lines, supporting from behind the scenes, or contributing in your own unique way, your role has been invaluable. As we look to the future, let us remember this triumph, not just as a moment of relief, but as a reminder of what we can achieve when we unite in purpose and spirit. Together, we have safeguarded our world, and in doing so, we have reaffirmed our commitment to building a brighter, more secure future for all. Thank you for your exceptional courage and dedication. The strength of our nation lies in the hearts and minds of its people, and today you have shown the world what we are capable of.
my block. You what? Checking, boy. You know who I am, bro? Who the f is you? You don't know who I am? Hey, well, you finna find out. Your boss wore a Sunday school special shirt ass. Your ass look like an exotic cricket, your little ugly ass. Boy, stop dancing for all looking at him. Yeah, you out here with them. Roses are red, violets are blue. My booty stank. How about you, fat man, Sam? You know, got alligators, tail on them bitches. Them bitches got, them bitches got decimated snake skin on them bitches, boy. Your ass out here dressed like a